Today I want to show you how to get set up with Isaac Lab and Isaac Sim. There's been a lot of interest in Isaac Lab with the live streams lately from NVIDIA. With all that interest, I just want to give you a sense of what it takes to get it installed. The docs are really great, I'm going to follow those, but this gives you a little more context around the tools that are being used. You'll create a Python virtual environment, we'll pip install Isaac Sim, then we'll clone the Isaac Lab repo, and then we'll run a, a few scripts, and then you should be able to run Isaac Lab. And there's lots of demos and ways to play around with it um, as soon as you get it installed. So let's get into it. So I'm on my Windows machine. I have the install instructions on the left, and I have the VS Code running on the right. We're gonna install Isaac Sim using pip. So it's a Python packaging tool. That's really common. If you've ever used Python, you've probably heard of it. If you're not familiar with the virtual environment, it's sort of like a container for your Python application. You can pick a version of Python to use and use that in the environment and then install libraries and other tools in that environment that won't affect your system's Python. There are other applications in your uh, computer that need Python. And if you start installing the things you need for this application, Isaac Lab, another application all together in the same place, it gets really messy, it can cause serious problems. So a container uh, for those things is really useful and that's what a virtual environment does. Let's start off by making a folder for Isaac Lab. If you're on Windows, I recommend putting it near the root of your drive because long file names can cause issues in Windows. So putting your Isaac Lab instance closer to the root of your drive should help alleviate that problem. So I ran NVIDIA-SMI and I can see that I have CUDA version 12.4, but my driver version is older than the one here. So I'm gonna upgrade that now. If you need these drivers, I found them by just Googling the version number and NVIDIA GPU driver. And if I run NVIDIA SMI again, which is the system management interface, we've got driver version 552.86. That's the one we need. Great. Let's keep going. Now, we make our virtual environment. First thing you might run into, uh, if you type Python 3.10 and get nothing, it's very likely you don't have Python 3.10 on your system. Uh, the easiest way to install it is to go to the Microsoft Store. You don't have to buy anything, it's free. That's great. It is rated for everyone. Nice confirmation here that Python is for everybody. Well, now we can actually run this command to make our virtual environment. And this is how easy it is. So we made our virtual environment. If we were to pip install right now, we would install into our system Python. So instead, we'll activate the virtual environment and see there's that little handy indicator. So next, we will install a bunch of things. If you don't remember your CUDA version, remember uh, the way I found it was using uh, NVIDIA SMI. The first thing we'll pip install is PyTorch, which is a machine learning library. And this one takes a while. It's about 2.4 gigs. So now we'll upgrade pip. You might have noticed I'm not typing Python 3.10 anymore. If you type Python, you see it goes to Python 3.10 because that's what we made our virtual environment with. And we need a few more packages, so we're going to another pip install. Great, so now we have Isaac Sim installed. Now we can test if it works. I typed Isaac Sim and ran it here. It'll take a while. Uh, the first time it runs could take upwards of 10 minutes. Uh, mine was faster than that. And then it pops open an empty kit window, and that is evidence that it's working. So, yay. So when we ran it just Isaac Sim, it gave us an empty kit window. Now let's give a specific experience. But now we have Isaac Sim running, and this is really cool because not only is this going to be useful for Isaac Lab, but you could run Isaac Sim and work with it this way, running it from your uh, virtual environment. As you might have heard, the launcher is going to be deprecated, so this is another way to run Isaac Sim. But let's finish this install of Isaac Lab now. Next, you'll get Isaac Lab itself by cloning the repo on GitHub. We have the repo cloned, and now if we look, there's a .bat file that is kind of a helper. A lot of command line arguments, there's a short version of the flags or arguments and a long version. So this is just showing you, you can use either. Okay, and now we get to run uh, an Isaac Lab example. So now Isaac Sim opened. Yeah, so we have a scene here and there's nothing in it. We just proved that Isaac Lab is working with Isaac Sim. Well, let's uh, go one step further. One last step, let's just open something else. This is cool. We can actually just run this file now. So let's run something a little more interesting. So now we're running this tutorial of differential IK. It looks like we've got a bunch of robots moving to some targets in space. But look at that. Let's look at the quadrupeds demo. Yeah, well, it's running, it's writing random joint positions to the robots. 
So you can look through these demos and these tutorials, and this is really just getting started. So with the way this is set up, we actually have Isaac Sim and Isaac Lab on top of it, right? So if you wanna just work with Isaac Sim, you can run it from the same environment. So it's kind of cool in that you have a little more control over the install and what packages are, are given with it. And just as a reminder, you can also install Isaac Lab in the cloud. This, is, this whole video has been a, a local installation on a Windows machine, which depending on your use case might be a good fit or not. So just remember there are options and pick what works best for you. Otherwise, hope this gives you a nice overview of how to get started with Isaac Lab and Isaac Sim. And yeah, happy training.